Because Yoko Ono's work is not so well known as it should deserve and uh, in my mind she's one of the pioneers of conceptual art and body art and performance art of the early 60s. So I think it was a desideration to show her whole amount of work, the wide range of her materials, concepts, ideas, uh, films, texts. Um, installations. She started very early with uh, texts uh, which she has been presenting right on the wall, right before Lawrence Wiener or on Cavara or Joseph Kossuth, the very well-known conceptual artist from the 60s. And she started with body art 10 years before Marina Abramovic. Um, I think Yoko Ono's work is run I mean, her main material are ideas, and ideas are still important today. This is not a work which is full of material. It is full of big ideas, and in some ways it is against the market. I think this is crucial. The role of the artist in this world is getting extremely important. The reason is because the politicians are getting less and less interesting, because they have to accommodate um, some kind of um, idea and there's so much red tape that they can't say anything they want to. Uh, even the, the speech is written for them and they read them, <laughs> you know. And so their position is extremely weak, if anything, or shall we say that it's extremely dangerous for us. So, while that was happening, the artist was still uh, creating, and artists are still creating. And the position of artists is very interesting. It's totally opposite to the position of the politicians. In that sense, in the sense that we are free, we're still free. We can still say what we want to say. Well, you may have to be daring to say something but you can still say it. Uh, you don't lose your job because you said it. Whereas the politicians may lose their job if they said anything they want to. And uh, we have the dignity of being able to tell the truth to people. And the truth is very important. People don't know about the truth. And I'm saying people as myself as well. Because one, we pay the tax and hire politicians to be politicians. But you know, like in this uh, interesting uh, film I saw a long time ago called Serve. And the servants start to get to be masters. And they feel that they can say anything they want. Or, you know, they, can, they don't have to tell anything to the people. But the people hired them, of course that people have the right to know, right to know what they're doing. But of course they think, people are so dumb, silly people. We don't have to tell them anything. In fact, it's dangerous to tell them anything because they don't understand. So in that kind of situation, it's very important that we pursue truth and express truth in our artwork. And that is the only thing that you can trust. So you see, my husband, John Lennon, said, give me some truth. 
because he knew the situation was really bad. Even then it was bad. Now it's getting even worse. And I would like you to know that you are the artist. You have within you what is making you a creative person. And that's being an artist. All of you are artists, and please understand that and bring out the truth in yourself, which is so important. And some people uh, tell me uh, in letters, you know, say, Yoko, uh, I don't have any money, I don't have any position, how could I change the world? Well, you change the world by being yourself. And the fact that you're yourself is so important for us. Each one of you are so important for us. And when I saw this show, I thought, oh, these people who created this thing for me, exhibited my work, really knew about my work, and I was very thankful about it. My work is very, very quiet. And I ask you to find out something from it. For instance, uh, there's a thing called half a room, which is all, everything is half. And the reason is because I think, at least, what we know about the truth is just half. The other half is hidden. The other half we still don't know. Or the other half is just there, but it's invisible. To some people, and many, many of us. And so, when you see something like the half a room, I would like to stretch your imagination and see the other half. You know, I knew the work is quite silent, but there are also uh, playful aspects in it. Uh, it has to do with participation, so this is the main concept to um, approach the visitor and to include us as a viewer in the work. So we have to, to finish it exact, in, in fact. So in, um, in the exhibition we have two parts. We have works from the 60s which have a kind of museum level, you cannot touch it, and many others which are inviting uh, to do something with it, to uh, put your hand in the danger box, or you, do you play chess, or you move with uh, bags in the moving mountain installation. So it's also a very playful uh, kind of exhibition. It is, it is called conceptual art, but in fact ideas are something which we are all related to. <laughs> Die Hand hoch, bitte. Ihre Hand hoch, bitte. Die hoch. Die Hand hoch. Das ist wie die Zigarette.
Ja, das sind meine heikle Sachen. Ich will, heißt es so schön, am Bild, sprich auf Bild. 